Um, all right, so the majority of the material in here is uh, very uh, specific to air traffic management and uh, especially since uh, looking through the uh, various presentations in the course of today, I'm guessing the majority of the audience doesn't need to know about air traffic management, so I will be skipping about uh, those pages that are to uh, application specific and uh, keep, uh, try to keep it at a higher level. But this one uh, first page uh, is uh, probably relevant to uh, the numerous uh, vendors I'm gratified to see our attending. Um, we do, I did do a survey of the projects uh, within Lockheed Martin that uh, are uh, using ADA. Um, I was hoping to do a more scientific uh, results presentation uh, statistically and number of lines of code and so on, but uh, as uh, some of you may already know, um, one of the reasons that uh, ADA projects are not uh, so terribly well advertised is because some of the projects prefer not to be known as using ADA and some of the projects consider all kinds about their use uh, classified. So therefore, um, I, I can't tell you how widely, statistically, I can't tell you how widely ADA is used, but it is used uh, widely in Lockheed Martin and the kinds of systems that do use ADA tend to have a very long life cycles. Uh, they tend to be mission critical, uh, safety critical. Uh, they uh, have a need for high assurance and they tend to be real time. Uh, they uh, are typically very large software content, not just uh, hardware, and they do need to have a high reliability. Now, um, the first talk this morning had to do with uh, selecting a programming language and uh, uh, although that study turned out in ADA's favor, I don't know how many uh, projects, uh, not just within Lockheed Martin but in general in the industry, um, apply that exact uh, scaling factor, that exact uh, grading so that they come out with a language uh, um, to be selected being ADA. Therefore, I, I can't speak to the long-term prospects of ADA uh, for starter systems, for new systems. But I can tell you be, that there are um, numerous ADA projects which have a very long uh, life. Uh, therefore, uh, they need support. Therefore, um, we need vendors to provide tools and methods and um, aids to certifying the systems, to uh, maintaining these systems, and I'm hoping that it's not just uh, my uh, wishful thinking, but in fact it's fact, that uh, as long as uh, there is a need, uh, we will have vendors that do support ADA. Uh, if you compare the number of vendors in the hall um, this year or the last couple of years at the various conferences with number of vendors when ADA first came about, then perhaps the number of vendors has uh, uh, shrunk, but uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not solid number of good vendors providing support. Uh, it also is good to see that they are expanding their area of interest a little into uh, certification and, and uh, other adjacent uh, areas. So I think uh, ADA is here to stay for decades to come basically because we have such uh, systems that have a very long lifespan. Um, as I was introduced, um, I am now doing system architecture, but for many years I've been doing software architecture in uh, ADA systems, not just um, air traffic management, but other systems prior to that. And uh, there are uh, some perhaps useful pointers I can uh, mention from our experiences without uh, tying it necessarily to air traffic management. Um, this uh, block here, it's uh, just something we are proud of that every day across the globe, roughly 60% of the world's commercial air traffic is monitored by Lockheed Martin Systems including uh, the system at uh, 
NERC um, at Swanick, um, and and we always like to show a little um, picture of that coming up soon. Uh, I won't go through the various links I have in here in the interest of time, but there are various, um, who knew Lockheed Martin now has a YouTube channel. Uh, and um, there are various uh, little movies one can watch uh, on specific uh, systems that we build. This is just a, a summary, a, a overly reused a picture of uh, phases of air traffic, uh, phases of flight, and um, what kind of systems there are, and uh, what kind of automations, um, and what kind of um, uh, numbers of systems there are for towers, for terminals, for en route. Um, Eurocontrol is mostly um, minding the shop in Europe, and there are a few uh, vendors of um, systems for air traffic management in Europe. Um, there are, um, and I guess we're always competing against one another all over the world. Um, but this picture is the same all over the world. Um, here are quickly some of the systems that Lockheed Martin built for air traffic management. The Taiwan system, um, which, by the way, uh, is now being replaced. The Taiwan system we built is still operational, but the follow-on contract is not ours. Um, in uh, the UK, the new en route center, and then uh, systems in um, the United States. So the ones that I mentioned are ones, uh, I'm only mentioning that those that have um, the preponderance of ADA content. We build many more systems in air traffic management, but those are not necessarily using ADA. Okay, uh, here are the little Taiwan system. It's been operational since 96, but it is being replaced pretty soon. Here's a picture we love from the UK, and that is operational um, in the United Kingdom. Uh, another picture of the same system. Um, in the United States, we have um, unlike Europe, where you have uh, different systems in the different jurisdictions, and then the problems are somewhat more difficult to solve because the system-to-system -system interface is more difficult um, uh, to uh, meet. In the United States, uh, although there are 20 systems and although there are a lot more flights, uh, all the systems are identical. Uh, minus a uh, release difference, right? So once we build a system, it is deployed to all 20, depending on how you count, there are 20 actual centers. We usually call them as, uh, count them as 22 because there is an additional system for the academy. That's where we train controllers. And um, in New Jersey, where we actually maintain systems and uh, test them. 